Alright, with the 2.0 beta out for the MPC software, I know a couple people in the forums had um, noticed that during looking at the browser, that on the screen, on the, the touch and the live or one or the other, I'm not exactly sure. Now keep in mind, I just bought an MPC touch like a couple days ago, not knowing that the software was going to be released for beta tests and that the MPC Live that I pre-ordered was going to hit the streets. So um, some people have already got it if you were at some retailers with your pre-orders and Guitar Center, which is not far from me at all. They have them in stock, but I'm not going to cancel my order and go over there and get one. I'm just going to be patient, resistance friend, and get it to me when it when it hits. But um, you know, a couple people now, I'm not sure. Like I said, I just got the touch, so I'm not sure how this looked before, but I know that there are a couple of users, maybe they're new, or maybe this is something different that the 2.0 software is doing, but now I know that the interface of the software is a lot different. Some things are on the right side that used to be on the left in the previous version, so I know that is different, So, but the complaint was that over here in the browser window, you were getting some other stuff, and it was kind of difficult to navigate. But what I did to simplify it, because what the, those users said is that they weren't seeing it at all on the screen of the touch or the live or both. So this is what I did. Now, in the comments, you guys can put if this was already the way you did it with the touch and maybe those guys didn't know how to do it. And with me being new, of course, I didn't. I've never used the touch before. I had the studio, NBC Studio, two of those and an NBC Ren. And of course, my vintage standalone, my um, 2000 XL. But here's what I did. You got your, when you, you start this thing up, you're going to have all your defaults and your sequence, your track, and your drum pad is going to come up by default. Right over here to the right, you got uh, an assigned sample icon. You hit that, you got your pads, and you can start assigning samples to your pads. Software is going to tell you that there are no samples loaded already. Simply click Browse, and this should bring you to your default MPC drum content window. Now, if you are looking to, um, let me make sure you can see the text. There we go. If you're looking for the expansion packs, um, there's a different way to go about that. But what I'm showing you right now is the browser to get to the basic MPC drum content. And you can either use the jog wheel, you highlight, and click with the jog wheel or you can simply if you got a touch it's designed so you can have the touch screen you just tap your way through and I'm assuming y'all can hear that and you just slide down pick your sample and obviously on the screen everything I tap the software is following right along with it with no lag or latency alright so that's good so if I tap on a pad over here, and I like that sample, double tap it, it's on that pad now, and it shows up just like it did in previous versions of the software, it's just on the right. Now this is not what the um, the discrepancy was, then uh, I stand corrected, but I think that that's what the discrepancy was, or a couple of users were having a hard time finding that bank of uh, samples and easily finding them. So hopefully this was helpful.